this is the morning brief with a star. I'm Susan Kiprano. The surge of COVID-19 cases in the country is sending the government back to the drawing board, forcing the president to call a fifth meeting with governors to discuss the pandemic. This came as the head of public service issued a new circular on compliance in the government office. At the same time, the star has established that parliament is slowly going into lockdown as cases of the virus increase. Kenya has over 13,700 cases of COVID-19, including 238 deaths. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 10 shillings by dialing star 550 star 3 hash. Even before the dust can settle on the shocking revelations of quiet MPs on the floor, a new report has revealed 10 lawmakers who did not attend parliamentary committee meetings for a year. Some of those who skipped the meetings were also captured in the report of MPs who never uttered a word on the floor during the year. In the report compiled by clerks of the National Assembly's 29 committees, the 10 legislators skipped all the parliamentary committee meetings between February and October 2019. If uh, and when an MP miss, misses uh, four consecutive committee sittings without the permission of the chairman or the speaker, then they are supposed to lose that, uh, that slot. But what we've been saying, uh, MP is missing up to 70 or 50 sittings. The reason we are saying this is that they've been holding the chairmen of these respective committees at ransom of removing them from, these, uh, from their posts. We are seeing MPs missing up to 50 and 70 committees. These are reported by, uh, from the inside by the majority leader. So it demonstrates the, uh, the incompetence or the impunity with which they've been running their business in the House and still speaking a lot outside their chambers. Waipa leader Kalonzo Mosioka is under siege following a plot by Kitui Governor Charity Ngilu to dislodge him from the Ukambani vote bastion. The governor wants to team up with her colleagues Kibuda Kibwana of Makueni and Machakos' Alfred Mutua to outshine the former VP in the 2022 presidential race. In a leaked conversation with Tip Tip leader Kalem Bendile, the governor is heard saying Kalonzo can't be trusted with negotiating the community's interests. It looks like uh, Kalonzo has lost uh, quite um, uh, a certain amount of influence in Ukambani because since last year, uh, the three governors, uh, Machakos, Governor Alfred Mutua, the governor from uh, Makweni, Kivuta Kibwana, and Charity Ngiru have been um, strategizing on how to work together and edge out Kalonzo. It seems that they share a, a dislike for Kalonzo and they think that he has not represented their Ukambani interests in, uh, in national politics. Polluters have been put on notice as the government launches a crackdown at Mishuki Memorial Park. Environment and Forestry CS Keria Kotobiko said the crackdown on those discharging untreated and toxic waste into the rivers is going to be sustained, aggressive and merciless, saying no one will be spared. The CS was speaking on Monday when he flagged off cleanup activities at the park and enforcement action along the Nairobi River's basin. The, the river has been cleaned up. The Solid waste has been collected, both uh, outside and inside the river, and uh, beautification has been done. We are putting up uh, public um, benches, and what is we, uh, we have also put the lighting. So, what is remaining is official uh, opening for the public to start using and enjoying this park. Monsoon rains lashed the Indian capital Delhi on Sunday, causing water logging in several areas. Firefighters had to rescue people from low-lying areas. At least one person died after his vehicle got stuck in floodwaters under a bridge. More heavy rains are expected in the capital in the coming days. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 10 shillings by dialing star 550 star 3 hash. You can also get more on The Star website.